Hello everyone. So today I am going to be giving a detailed video on Badami, a historical place by built by the Badami Chalukyas. And that's what I will say. Move on to the video. We are at Badami and we have arrived to Badami Caves. It is like a man-made cave built by the Badami Chalukyas. You have to go through those steps into the mountain, into the boulder. So this marvelous architectural builds were built by the Badami Chalukyas. Badami, also known as Vatapin, was the capital of the Badami Chalukyas, which ruled most of Karnataka in the in six to eighth century. So this is cave entrance too. And you can see these sculptures over here, these small sculptures. These are all, uh, you might see many film industries copying these steps for movies. Yeah. And here we have some classical dance steps. Being conquered and uh, destroyed by the Delhi Sultanate, but it is much well preserved than Hampi. I don't know how, but Delhi Sultanate did not ruin it much. Even they, even though they did uh, like ruin it, but not that much. And thus, it is centuries older than Hampi. I have seen cave 1 and this is cave 2 and this temple is associated with Vishnu. The Chalukyas were a great uh, followers of Vishnu. So they made two temples um, for Vishnu. So here we have a big natural cave it is not man-made it is a natural cave it is very big as you can see and it is very long in the inside and there's monkeys over here and there's a lot of monkeys on that mountain over there and there's a rule that you should not bring food and offer food to the monkeys because uh, they will attack you. I think. So now we will go to cave 3 over there. But because of that cave, the Chalukyas got inspired and made these man made caves. Now we are still on the way to uh, cave 3 made by Chalukya. We are here at cave 3 and this is also devoted for Vishnu. And so this cave took 12 years to build. It This progress was started in 1578. E. So it is a very beautiful cave in the inside and it is one of the biggest cave that I have seen till now. It has the different avatars of Vishnu from his Narsimha avatar over there and his Vishnu avatars normal. So now we will go to the last cave, cave 4. So now we are in cave 4. This is the smallest cave we have access to. 
and this is the last cave and also from cave 4 you have a beautiful view of a lake and temples and the mountains. I have one more place that we missed. There is one more place that we missed and I want to show you that place now. This is what I like to call the fifth cave. You can see how big the stairs are. You may think it is a mistake but it is actually intentionally made because uh, so enemies uh, can't go up to the fort. So by this way the, uh, the emperor used to go up to the fort on the top of the mountain. This passageway is right near the entrance of the third cave and this is so like when the enemy uh, soldiers like go up and one person falls all of the people just fall down so it's like a defense natural defense system which was intentionally made so this is off limits because the exact same thing could happen to us right that's why uh, this uh, we cannot go into there to the fort um, so uh, uh, this is like uh, closed off by the gate and all so now we will go back down and go to that area near the river now we are going to Badami river it is right there so right next to this lake there is the Bhutanath temple over here we are going there now. So in the monsoon season, the river flows and uh, makes a beautiful waterfall. And it comes into this channel over here. And then after uh, the channel gets filled, it passes into this uh, lake. And when the lake completely gets filled, there's another system which takes it to that. So that is the uh, very beautiful uh, system technology used at those times. This is Varaha Avatara. And here we have Ganesha, we have Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. Shiva. Shiva and we have Kalika Devi here and Ugura Narsimha here. So in Hampi we saw the big statue of uh, uh, Yoga uh, Lakshmi Narsimha. So here there is Ugura Narsimha sculpture. Now it is play time. So we are at the museum. And the same thing. The partially broken uh, monuments and uh, sculptures are kept here. Let's go inside. And there's a cactus plant there. Some statues and sculptures. So inside the phones were not allowed so we could not take the video. But it is very big and I would say you should come here to see. There is also a replication of uh, caveman area there so I would say you should come here this is the way to the fort over there I don't know if we are going to go to the fort so guys I have found a secretive route up to there so I was following some kind of like steps I saw there and I looked up and uh, that thing the fort thing was there so I am not daring to go there because there is 
steps are completely broken down. We are going down now. Vapas. So guys, I hope you liked the video where I, I kind of became the guide for you guys. For more detailed information, you have to come here. Even though I did not show you everything about Badami, I at least tried to show you as much as we could because we had less time there. Uh, that's why uh, I could not like show you all of it. You should go there and explore the remaining stuff in Badami. It is an actual place you should visit. It is very nice. And I would say thanks to my father also because he told me uh, some facts about the uh, Chalukyas and all. Uh, Badami Chalukyas and all. So I would also say like and subscribe if you liked it and please come to Badami. And our next video is going to be about Hampi which actually we went before going to ba ba Badami. So it's going to be like Ulta. Bye guys. Like and subscribe.